through what happened here this morning. At about 7.15 this morning, a postal worker observed a, a suspect device in a secured compound at the rear of the post office and alerted emergency services. Emergency services responded. They had a look at the device and we treated it as suspicious because it had batteries and wires and in a secure compound. Our bomb technicians uh, attended the scene. They've uh, taken some x-rays and cleared the device as having no um, um, explosives. We're now treating the, the matter uh, with an ongoing investigation and we just ask if anybody did observe anybody acting suspiciously at the back of the post office, if they could contact Crime Stoppers. How, I mean, if this does turn out hypothetically to be a prank, as, you know, a, an elaborate hoax, it, it's a pretty serious one. It could land people in a lot of trouble, this sort of uh, hoax. Oh, well, we've had no threats uh, or to call it a hoax as such. All, all I can say at this stage until the investigation's completed is that uh, we have, um, uh, there was a device device located and emergency services have responded appropriately. But if it's kids, you know, too much time on their hands, I mean, this sort of thing can land them in a lot of trouble. Well, I don't know if there's any children involved in this matter. That's an ongoing investigation. Any idea of, like, when it possibly could have been planted there? Like, how often that area is accessed by staff? Or? I understand that they had a look at the area earlier in the night and there was nothing observed in that area, but our investigators haven't yet established that um, at this stage, so we're unsure as to when that area was last searched. Obviously, um, it's been a good outcome. You can't take these things um, too serious. I'm sorry, you can't take these things seriously enough, I suppose. As I've said, um, it was reported to emergency services. We've responded appropriately to ensure the safety of the community. Um, as far as this time of year, it's certainly a busy time of year for the old posties, a bit of headache for them. Oh, I can't comment on what's happening with the post office, but uh, I imagine it would be. How long, like obviously you got here about half past seven and it's been sort of cleared now, it's taken a couple of hours that you've been on site? Yeah, yes, I've been on site for a couple of hours, but um, it does take time and we have to treat it with great care to ensure that no persons are injured. So just to confirm it, it's looking like an elaborate hoax at this stage? At this stage, yes. Yeah. Um, what do you think, though, of you know people who do this? And I, I, I suppose you do have to treat it seriously, but waste the time of emergency services. There, there are uh, criminal offences committed should it have been an elaborate hoax, um, a, as you've put it, but and that matters under investigation. But it, it's a huge waste of um, time and energy if it turns out it's a prank. Well, emergency services do need to respond and we need to care for the community and, and ensure that members of the public are safe and it's our role to investigate those matters and investigate it, we will. Apart from the device, has there, was there anything else left behind um, that might indicate you know, how it was set up there or anything like that or you know, the people who are behind it have accidentally left anything else behind? Yeah, the criminal investigation branch are investigating all leads but I've been told of, of no other advice in respect to that and it will be subject to an ongoing police investigation. All right, Neville. They'd have to have jumped a fence to, to put the device in there? Uh, from, it is in a secured compound and how they get access I, I'm unsure at this stage. What would be your warning to people out there who, who, who are thinking about doing something like this? I'd, I'd just reconsider and think carefully on what your actions are because um, should you be caught you are committing a criminal offence and, and you will be prosecuted. Thank you, Neville. Thank Appreciate you. us always.